Hi, I'm Rachel from Gentle Frog. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more content. If you're having issues with your bookkeeping, please follow the link at the end of the video to schedule a one-on-one -on -one appointment with me. Thank you. In today's video of custom training, I want to talk to you about a couple options for filing your 1099 forms. I want to talk to you about specifically Track 1099 and Tax 1099. What you see on my screen is Tax 1099. Over here, this is Track 1099. These are probably the two most popular products that accountants use to handle your 1099 forms. And I wanted you to see each of them just so you can get a sense of what they're like. And then perhaps if you're filing your own 1099, one of these will be a good fit for you. So we'll start by looking at the pricing. For track 1099, I'm gonna to go to pricing at the top of the screen. I'm gonna make believe that I need to file one 1099 form. The one form is $2.99. I'm going to navigate to Tax 1099. I'm going to go to Pricing. That's going to say one. I'm going to say zero, zero foreign, but just one form. And I'll say one 1099. The price on that is $2.90. So there's a difference of nine cents. So pretty negligible. I'm going to create forms for each of the softwares, both Tax 1099 as well as Track 1099, just so you can see them both demoed from the perspective of somebody who does not make a commission and doesn't care which one you pick, if either. So let's go ahead and sign up for Tax 1099. I'm going to say sign in, or excuse me, I'm going to say sign up. Company name, type in Just the Frog, Rachel Barnett, email. Rachel Plus, tax 1099, gentlefrog.com. All right, so we've got everything. We're going to register. Uh, sent a verification to my email. Hop over to the email and grab it. This is kind of nice. I did this video for track 1099 and there was no email verification sent. All right, so now I'm in the text 1099. I'm just going to go ahead and close the other tab. So what I can see is there's a dashboard, there's various forms. Let's do the essential plan. Um, it's pay as you go. These other things, 149 a year, 249 a year, they're probably really great, but this video is designed for small business owners that only have a couple of 1099s they need to send out, and they're not going to benefit from these extra perks. So we'll say pay as you go, the essential e file. Okay. So on the left, I have various forms. So I can say new form, viewer submit a form, resubmit rejected, and manage forms. People. Um, people is payers. So you as a small business owner, you're a payor. The recipient is the person who receives the form that gets sent out. And then copy recipient. There's import, there's history, report, support, etc. So let's see what we can do to import. Let's connect QuickBooks Online. So disconnected. Well, of course it's disconnected. We just made it. Let's just make believe. So people will say manage payer. We're going to add a make believe payer. So add payer. So again, the payer is my small business. So my EIN, it's going to be very creatively one through nine. Gentle, gentle frog sample company address Bellevue way Northeast suite eight A. 95 Bellevue, Washington 98004 phone number 0105 we're going to skip the rest of it because it's not mandatory I'm going to choose add so I've added myself as a payer so I'm the small business that needs to send out 1099 miscellaneous or 1099 NEC forms so there's that so now what we'll do is we'll say we'll add a recipient, say a person who is going to receive one of my forms. So we'll make believe that I had a contractor. 
I can, as you can see, import the data from Excel. I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna pretend that I have one or two people I need to add. I can, if I want, do bulk you know, import from Excel, but, but really this video is for the, the business owners that just have one or two 1099s they need to issue, and they're, you're not gonna go through the effort of putting it to Excel. You'll just manually enter it. So the nice thing about doing this is this information will be here for next year, so you don't have to re-enter it. So we're gonna pretend I don't need to request a W-9 or W-8. We'll pretend that I already have the W-9. We're just gonna give this person a business ID number. Um, business name, we'll call it um, Happy Co. So the address, 123 Main Street. I was listening to a podcast uh, earlier today. It was a This American Life podcast on uh, like the Happiness Project or something. It was really good. The podcast I was listening to was This American Life, um, the show of delights. And really, even if you're not a podcast person, this might be a podcast, uh, might be an episode that you would enjoy listening to. I definitely recommend it. Bellevue, Washington, 98004. Blah, blah, we're gonna skip the rest of this, click add. So recipient added successfully, fantastic. We will pretend that we've added in all the people that are gonna get a form from us. So now when we come in here to the payer, that's us, and if we're just a small business and not an accounting professional, we're only gonna have the one payer, which is our business. If we were an accounting professional, we'd have lots of payers, and every time we change the payer, the list of recipients would update accordingly. And we'll pretend that the only person we need to send a 1099 to is Happy Co. So here we are. We're ready to go. What we need to do is we need to send out a form. On the left-hand side, we're going to click on Forms. We're then going to say New Form. We're going to pick the year on the left, so 2020. The form we're going to send, we're going to send in this example a 1099 NEC. So who is it coming from? It's coming from us. It pre-fills all of our information. Who is it going to? It's going to HappyCo. Thankfully, it pre-filled all that. The only things we need to fill in is the amount of the non-employee compensation. So we will make believe that it's $10,000. The federal income tax withheld, we're going to say we withheld $0. We don't have any state withholding in Washington, so I'm going to skip that. I'm then going to say um, save and continue. My options are save and continue, save and add a new 1099 NEC, or save and add a new form. That would be applicable if I need to issue a 1099 miscellaneous, for example. But we're just going to pretend this is the only thing we need to send out. So I'm going to say save and continue. So maintenance so far, none of this applies because we're just, you know, making a make-believe video to show you this. So here's the form, Form 1099 NEC, and then below is a list of any of those forms. If I was sending any miscellaneous forms, I would toggle it and change the miscellaneous. So I have my 1099 NEC. So we go tax year, select payer. There's only one payer in here, but I still need to select them. And so now I can choose this form, so if I had multiple, there'd be a, multiple rows of forms. I can choose to USPS mail the form to my recipient. All right, everything else looks good, so I'm going to click Next. So I should be getting in the mail soon. That sounds good. I'll click OK. I reviewed. OK. And here it is. So there's an e-filing fee of 290 there's a mailing fee of $1.50. It'll cost me a total of $4.40. I would enter my credit card, enter my billing information, and off it goes. Because this is all made up, I'm not entering anything. I just wanted to show you how to put this together so you could use this for your business. So again, this is one of two videos I'm creating. The other video is for Track 1099 because I want you to see how to do this using a couple of different software options. These software options work regardless of the accounting software that you're using. 
please like and subscribe. If you have any questions or if there's other videos you'd like to see me make, please leave a note in the comments box. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much. Thank you.